Aber dies ist keine Zeit für die Schwäche des Geistes. Jedes Schwanken, jedes Zögern ist ein Verrat am Vaterland. Denn der moderne Krieg ist wie ein Schachspiel. Es geht niemals um den Einzelnen, sondern immer nur um das Gesamte. We are now over a century out from the end of World War I. It feels like there are some strange connections to that time period. The last major pandemic, the Spanish flu, hit between 1918 and 1919. It was first identified military personnel and went on to infect a third of the world's population. Fighting between two countries in Europe, this time Russia and Ukraine, is in full effect, with every major European power contributing to that war effort. It seems like a perfect time for the German remake of All Quiet on a Western Front to be on the Oscars list for Best Picture. All Quiet on the Western Front has been made into a movie four times since its initial release as a novel in 1929. Most famously, the American pre-code version in 1930, just a year after the novel's release. It was directed by Ukrainian-born Louis Milestone and starred Lou Ares as Paul Baumer. Forgive me, comrade. Say that for me. Say you forgive me. Oh no, you're dead. The 1930 version, All Quiet on the Western Front, is still hailed as a harrowing depiction of World War I and has been ranked as the 7th best American epic film by the AFI. 92 years later, German director Edward Berger has made a German language version of the film. It will be the first time a remake of a Best Picture winner has won. Edward Berger also says that knowledge of World War II and the German shame from Nazi Germany was part of a process behind this remake. You know, it didn't stop right there after when Remark wrote this novel. It just continued. It almost immediately uh, led to the Second World War. So that was important to, to, to put into the film. He cites Laszlo Nemes, Son of Saul, which won Best Foreign Language Film in 2016 as his subconscious influence. Son of Saul is a historical drama about a prisoner in the camp at Auschwitz. Part of what Berger means by subconscious influence is that Son of Saul utilized the extremely intimate shooting style that All Quiet on the Western Front aimed to replicate. But in a way, also, we wanted to make it intimate by staying very close to the characters and to what they're feeling. So actually, all of our decisions, camera, music, production design, costume, props, everything felt important to include into, or to, to just use in terms of what is Paul or Cut or whoever's in the frame feeling at this very moment? And that's what the camera tried to capture. Paul Baumer, who is an extremely iconic character in modern German literature, is played by Austrian actor Felix Kammerer. Berger found Felix at a theater in Vienna, and he had never been in front of a camera before. And I got a call from the director and the producer, and they told me we're going to see us in Prague. And then I was celebrating, but it takes you, I think, four seconds, and then you realize, oh God, now I have to really do that. <laughs> and then the pressure builds up, and um, then you start preparing. But first of all, of course, it's just an unbelievable moment where you realize, I now get the chance to do that. More than anything else, I think it's Felix's face that really sells a historical epic to the audience. His bright blue eyes stand out beautifully, caked in mud and blood, with a vacant expression behind them as the film goes on. All versions of All Quiet on the Western Front highlight the way that the Great War, as we now call it, was sold to teenagers joining the war effort. And the gegnerische front in Flandern durchbrechen. And then werden sie in ein paar Wochen schon nun endlich auf Paris marschieren. Unsere Zukunft. These children, who need parental permission to even join up, are told that they will be in Paris in just six weeks. Of course, nobody, including those recruiting soldiers, knew that the four-year war would be unimaginably destructive and end with 40 million casualties and 20 million wounded. One reason is that modern total war is completely different from that which came before it. World War I frequently utilized gas attacks, and early in Paul's story, we see the infamous gas masks deployed. Later in the film, we see an entire company of dead teenagers who are gassed inside a building. The war is sold to Paul and his friends 
as a way to heroically defend the fatherland. Meine Freunde, das sind Sie! Darum aus in den Kampf für Kaiser, Gott und Vaterland! They enthusiastically join up and are taken to the horrific Western Front to live in the trenches. Part of Berger's German perspective that he added to the film was the real-life story of Matthias Erzberger's trip to ask for an armistice from the French military command. Monsieur le Maréchal, ich bitte Sie um den Waffenstillstand. Nous demandons l'armistice. The agreement that the French hand down to the German delegation is humiliating and concedes a large amount of territory. This will be the beginning of the humiliating circumstances that the Nazi party later seized upon. Erzberger is played by Daniel Brühl, an actor that American audiences would recognize from Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards. Invitation. Is this the besagte Dame, Frederic? Yeah, well, that's it, Dr. Goebbels. Emmanuel, j'aimerais vous présenter quelqu'un. Emmanuel Mimieux, j'aimerais vous présenter au ministre de la propagande, le chef de toute l'industrie cinématographique allemande, et maintenant que je suis acteur, mon patron, Dr. Josef Goebbels. At the end of the movie, although an armistice goes into effect in six hours, the dissatisfied general sends the soldiers for one last insane push through the plains. La Tier gehört in deutsche Hand. Wir erobern die Ebene noch vor 11 Uhr und beenden diesen Krieg mit einem Sieg. The push ends up being Paul's demise, but also the seeds of that dissatisfaction when the terms end up extracting a toll on the German people would sprout into the coming conflict of World War II. Diese Menschen, Brixdorf, verkaufen unser Vaterland. Mein Befehl lautet Krieg. Und solange sich das nicht ändert, kämpfe ich hier um jeden Meter. Wir müssen jetzt durchhalten, auf frische Truppen warten. In ein paar Monaten rückt der neue Jahrgang nach. 